Hey guys, welcome back to Ableton Online. We are jumping into unit number two and lesson number six, intro to Simpler. So we've got this beat going in the background and hopefully you have your own beat going. Hopefully you have your own drum kit, custom drum kit hopefully, that you've programmed a nice MIDI loop into to make some drums. Hopefully you, you may or may not have added a an audio loop over the top of that, those programmed MIDI drums, but hopefully you've grabbed some of Ableton's handy instrument presets and program, programmed in some instrument loops of your own to make a good little solid two bar or four bar loop, maybe even an eight bar loop. Just something simple that we can work off of and jump into simpler. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is because we're not using these other tracks, they're kind of from a previous, they're kind of from a previous version of this session when we had a different track going. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete those. Because we've been doing our session iterations, we have those saved in another session. We can always pull those back in. But for now, I want to kind of keep things simple and only work with the tracks and clips that we have active in this session, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and make all of these roughly the same size so we know what we have going here and kind of tidy things up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and rename this project so that we're all on the same page and we know that we're in lesson six. And we're talking about intro to simpler. Fantastic, let's go ahead and save that. And as always, let's go ahead and give a quick review here. You wanna collect all and save, so we have all of our necessary assets to play back this project. Should we switch computers, send it to a friend, open it up in five years, whatever the case may be, you want all the samples, patches, presets, everything that you need to play this session back, you want consolidated into this session folder, wherever you choose to save it. I'm saving this one to the desktop. So we'll give this just a second or two to save here. It's gonna copy these files, hopefully rather quickly. There we go, okay, we're in business. So, got this beat playing. Go ahead and turn down the grand piano just a bit here. Turn down this. Need a guitar a little bit. Turn the bass up a little bit. And I'm gonna go into this drum kit and I'm also gonna turn down these open hats. They're a little loud. And this sound right here is a little bit loud. Okay, sounded pretty good. Don't worry too much right now about the sonics and the levels. We'll get into that in a later session, how to even things out. But for now, let's jump into Simpler. So we've got this track playing. And what Simpler is going to allow us to do, before we jump into the available presets here, let's just drag an empty Simpler unit into the open space where it says drop files and devices here. We'll automatically create a new MIDI track and record enable or arm for recording this track. So if I press notes on my MIDI keyboard over here, you can see the MIDI coming through. We just don't have a sample in our sample slot here. So very simply put, no pun intended, what Simpler is going to do is it's going to allow you to grab a sample and splay it out chromatically over your keyboard so that one note now can become an entire keyboard of tones or pitches. And what do I mean by that? Let's find a piano sound and I'll show you exactly what I mean. I'm trying to find one note here. Perfect. So when I drop that into my sampler here, the middle C on my keyboard, C3, will play back that note at its original pitch, unaffected, unchanged. If I go up an octave, it will play back that note at twice the speed, so you'll hear it as an octave up, twice the pitch, 
but it will also play back at twice the speed, which means that that note will be over much quicker. And if I go up another octave, here's my original. Notice the orange line that will be scrolling through. See that? Through this note. When I go up two octaves, it goes by twice as fast, four times as fast. Okay? If I go down an octave, it will play back half as fast as the original note. And if I go down another octave, four times as slow, okay? So on something like this that's an acoustic instrument, a natural occurring sound like this piano here, more than about an octave, an octave and a half, there's your original note. Still sounds decent there, but down here, two octaves below, it's, down, sounding, it's starting to lose some of the character that makes it sound acoustic and it's starting to sound sampled, more digitized, which is a cool sound if that's what you're going for, but just keep it in mind if that's not what you're going for. So the basics of simpler is, is just that. It allows you to now take one note and play that one note chromatically across the entire keyboard as if you already had an entire keyboard full of notes. So that's a piano sound. We can grab anything though and throw it into a simpler. And if you'll notice, every single one of these sample slots, these clip slots in your drum rack that we've created earlier has a simpler playing out that individual one-shot sound. But you don't just have to stick to one-shots, you can drop a loop into a simpler, you can drop any audio sample that's been printed to audio, you can drop into a simpler and then mess with it. So at the base level, simpler is a very efficient and very cut and dry version of a sampler. You don't have advanced functionality, but allows you very quickly to get to the sound you want using an audio, a printed audio sound, whether it be a one shot or a loop. So let me grab a bass sound here. So I could grab that in there and go. Notice how when I play the pitch up or down, the sample plays back faster or slower. So it doesn't retime the sample, it only repitches it. This is basically the same effect as a vinyl or a record player will do. If you speed up the pitch or slow down the pitch, it will slow down the platter and therefore the sound and the pitch is sped up and down, but also the speed is affected. Okay. I'm gonna take that. So there's a lot of possibilities here with your simpler. You can use it to cue up loops and play back loops, okay? Or you can use it for one shots. If you jump back into your drum kit, you'll see how each one of these, see that orange line coming through here? Each one of these sounds is being played out via a simpler device, okay? And so obviously if I have this many going in one drum rack times two, okay? They're very CPU efficient, and there's a lot you can do with it, okay? So just to give you a quick intro to the device, again. If we take any sound and drop it in, now I can play it chromatically across the keyboard.
And that's just with one single note that's been printed to audio that I dropped into a simpler, I can now play it back chromatically, okay? If you wanted to take maybe a kick, and let's grab that 808, and you wanted to play back a pitched 808 kick, now you've got your center C, but you've also got, you can go down, up, start to lose it there, an octave below. So again, just be wary of how far up or down you're going from your middle C, C3, but you can pitch kicks, you can pitch claps, you can pitch, basically anything you throw into it will be chromatically splayed across your keyboard so that you can play it in any other pitch, okay? And it might sound great pitching up and down, it might not sound so great. So that is the basics of Simpler. In a later lesson, we're gonna get into some really awesome stuff you can do with Simpler. You can literally take Simpler and use it to create every sound in your mix if you really wanted to. You can take a sound and turn it into a completely different sound. You can very, very easily, if you're into dubstep or electro house, you can get that wobble bass instantly and get it timed into the beat perfectly, very quickly and simply. And you can really quickly and easily modify the ADSR envelope of your volume, of your amp, and of your filter, and even of the pitch. Um, this is an incredibly powerful device here, the Simpler. So just bear in mind that there's a lot you can do with it. We're just getting an intro to it with this lesson. Let's go ahead and grab some of the different sounds that come bundled effects grand pianos ooh that's kind of nice i might just throw that into my track right now And go in here, unclick my pencil, and I'm gonna go ahead and quantize that, and I'm gonna drag these notes out so they kind of linger. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm gonna leave them a little bit back so that there's a little bit of overhang here because there's a little bit of a delay on that, uh, that sound, so. That's an intro to Simpler, guys. After the jump, we're gonna be getting into how to apply effects to make your sounds sound awesome. See you then, guys. Mm -hmm.